Oke, okay, hello everyone. Ya, yeah. uh, we are on the topic of critical discourse analysis. Ya, yeah, of Dunn van Dijk model. After we had uh, several discussions, ya, yeah, related with the several experts. One of them is van Dijk model. <coughs> nah, uh, this model, okay, uh, usually used. Yeah, in CD analysis, that's why this is important yeah, for you and for us to understand and later on implement. And if you have kinds of discourse to be analyzed, you can use these models. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> in Van Dyke's models, yeah, uh, we will have a special approach. To everyone yeah which uh, focuses on discursive conditions yeah and components and consequences yeah of uh, we can say power abused by dominant or it's called by elite yeah, elite groups and institutions that's why <clears throat> If we had this fun diets, we will have patterns of access and control over context, genre, uh, text and talks. Yeah, uh, everything about their properties. Yeah, as well as yeah, the discursive strategies of mind or mind control later on, yeah, related with those uh, power abuse and extra, yeah, social hierarchies. Yeah, we'll discuss about it. <clears throat> now, we'll have this introductions, yeah, to this session, that what is fun like approach. We'll discuss about tax, social cognition, social content, yeah, and macro. This is super, yeah, sorry. Super structure and micro structure. First, let's see. Yeah, this is Tun Andrianus van Dijk. Yeah, he was born May 7, 1943, in Norwich, yeah, the Netherlands. <clears throat> he is one of the founders of critical discourse study, one of many. Yeah, one of the founders. Yeah, which is especially, yeah, especially represents the socio-cognitive paradigm. Yeah, that's common, yeah, uh, about socio-cognitive paradigm because it's related with the social society. <clears throat> Based on the thesis that relations between discourse and society are cognitively mediated. Yeah, that's, that's the original story. Yeah. That's why early yeah, Jun van Dijk later on will have a study of relations between yeah, discourse, power, dominance, yeah, social inequality, and the positions of the discourse analyzed in such social relationship. Nah, we'll talk many about uh, van Dijk. <clears throat> Let's see the dominance, yeah. If uh, you have dominance, yeah, by uh, Van Dijk here, what do you think? Dominant. If we have Norman Fightlock and other uh, water, etc., yeah, we'll see it from uh, Van Dijk. Yeah. Uh, if you have your uh, imagery situation about dominance, yeah, right now, because I give you time, yeah, to think what is dominant. Yeah, this is about the the fun type point of view for the social critics. Yeah, about what that is about inequality. So, 
uh, this is critic of social inequality focus on the role of discourse in the reproduction yeah and challenge of the dominance this one that's why he van dyke to point out yeah that dominance is defined his as a social power by elites can be elites can be uh, institution or groups yeah that result in not well, the social inequality because of this uh, social power by those elite institution uh, groups can cause it in the inequality uh, in the so uh, in the reality yeah in, in, uh, in the society yeah including uh, what we can call it political cultural class ethnic racial and gender inequality yeah that's why this this reproduction process might involve different modes later on apa saja itu we have power relation Ooh, every power power here mean those elite yeah <clears throat> those has have greater than uh, other yeah. enactment representation kadang ya yeah. legitimation denial mitigation or concealment of dominance among others yeah uh, that's quite uh, clearly yeah uh, to hesitate to see your surroundings there are so many social inequality yeah this, that can be one of your recent yeah problems and you will analyze yeah, you can analyze one of them with this cda uh, models yeah by van dyke <clears throat> now that's why uh, those uh enactment representation extra yeah uh, that's why we are as the linguist as the researcher as the analyst yeah need to know about the structure strategies yeah or other properties of in the discourse yeah of text of talk of verbal interaction or a communicative event yeah that play a role ya yeah, in this mode of reproduction. Nah, kita analisnya dari situ. Yeah, we need to know the, those structure of the text and so on. Yeah. Nah. That's why uh, here we can say that CTA deals primarily with the discourse dimension of power abuse and the injustice and the inequality that result from it. Nah, the author, the fanatic, went on to say that it requires true multidisciplinarity. Yeah, multidiscipline, multidisciplinarity, an account of intricate relationship between tax, talk, yeah, this is like social cognition, power, society, and culture. So if you find discourse analysis in other fields that's common because this is multi-discipline you can find it uh, related about politics you can find it related about communication science yeah mungkin anak-anak income anak-anak sospol anak-anak bahasa we can dig it up more about this uh, CD analysis yeah because this is oh, sorry <coughs> This is multi-discipline, yeah? yeah, because of this, yeah, there are many talk and extra, yeah. Uh, if we have uh, this funded models, we cannot take a side by uh, power and dominance later. Yeah, yeah this one. <coughs> regarding power and dominance yeah 
Van Dijk stated that the concept of hegemony. Nah, nanti akan terbiasa dengan kata power, hegemony, ya. Yeah. Uh, the concept of hegemony and its associated concept of consensus, acceptance, and the management of the mind also suggests that the critical analysis of discourse and dominant is far from straightforward and doesn't always imply a clear picture of feelings and victim. Yeah, this is kind of movie. Yeah, kalau kita lihat movie yang bagus kualitasnya kan tidak langsung kita mengetahui ah, penjahatnya ini orang baiknya ini ya yeah, maybe we can catch it but in the reality that's too pure if someone will have kind of intention it can be easily seen ya yeah, but others then it can be predicted easily ya yeah, that's not good for we can say the elite that have the certain uh, purposes in the society regarding with tax so it happens ya yeah? ini kita ketahui kalau ini kadang tidak bisa dilihat secara langsung siapa itu penjahatnya siapa orang baiknya nah dalam konteks feelings and victims ya yeah? if we talk about this course mm -hmm. this is power and dominance hegemony ya yeah. it also maintain that many form of uh, this dominance appear to be jointly reproduced Re Purchased through intricate forms of social interaction, yeah, communication and discourse. Nah, karena itu sulit dan tersembunyi kadang dan apa? We need to be uh, critics. Uh, sorry, critical with this. Yeah, critics is important to see the dominance, to see the uh, hegemony. Society. For example, someone will uh, give money to the poor people. This is not a yeah. It can have some probabilities first, yeah, because he likes it. She likes it to give something for others, pay it forward. For example, because of God, because of good things. Yeah, the other probability may be to show off to others. Yeah, the, the other probability maybe he or she has the hidden agenda. Oh, mau pilihan lurah. Oh, mau pilihan mas, mau framing. Yeah, this happen. This is Van Dyke models. Yeah, kadang di anak uh, with colloquial words ya yeah, dengan kata-kata candaan, ya yeah, jokes, anak -anak. mungkin ini ilmu untuk zuzon. Ya, yeah. karena memang ya yeah, need to see the reality that that's not pure there is a probability for that one that person that give what is the motive for nah <clears throat> that related with the hegemony power and extra fundix also believe that power and dominance are usually organized and institutionalized yeah the social dominance of group as the author suggested as fundix said it is thus not merely enacted individually. Today it's not individually, not enacted sometimes, yeah, individually. Karena it has kind of big circle, yeah. But it is enacted by its group members, sanctioned by the court, legitimated by laws, enforced by the police, and ideologically sustained and <laughs> Reproduced by media or textbook, ya, yeah, complete, sudah complete, sudah didukung oleh konsep-konsep uh, pemahaman mungkin ya di masyarakat, mungkin dilegalkan oleh hukum, dilegitimasi, ya. di power, dikerahkan kotanya oleh yang berwenang, polisi misalnya, ya, di bentuk oleh media, ya, yeah. power and dominance, ya, yeah. it's like a director. Kenapa di sini ada gambarnya direktur, sutradara? Because 
this is the reality. If we want to see uh, a text, a discourse, yeah, in uh, our surroundings. This one, yeah, uh, social, cultural, and political organization of dominance. Also, yeah, in in our life, if we see surrounding, implies social hierarchy, hierarchy of power. Some members of dominant groups and organization have, for example, special roles in planning. Yeah decision making and sometimes control over the relation and processes yeah of those enactment power this one that's why uh, before we talk about context yeah that's why if we see um, the small groups, yeah, again about the elite and stuff, yeah, the small group would be called here as the power elites, yeah, karena um, bukan the lower group, yeah, but the small group ini karena power elitnya adalah sedikit jumlahnya daripada yang uh, masyarakat luas, yeah, would be called here as the power elites, yeah. Nah, ini elite elite apa itu? Van Dyke, uh, power elite symbolize yeah, power symbolic. This is symbolic, yeah, as measured by the extent of their uh, discursive and communicative scopes and resources. <coughs> Here, uh, Van Dyck, further, yeah, stated the relations between the discourse and the context. Context as the author. The Van Dyck yeah, pointer is defined as theoretical term, yeah, within a broader theory of discourse, yeah, that must be account for the way of discourse are produced and understood as a function of property, yeah, dimana in a com of communication situation, yeah, context, yeah, this one, as they are understood and represented by participants themselves. We are uh, that uh, contacts may represent face to face communicative situation, atau kita bisa sebut di sini micro contacts. Yeah, the author kita akan belajar nanti ya, melihat what is uh, micro micro contacts and stuff. Yeah. Face to face communicative situation, yeah, need to be maintained if you want to analyze that from micro context, yeah, such as parliamentary speech or debate, mm -hmm. but also various micro and macro levels of social situation and structure, such as parliament and as institution. Jadi tidak hanya memandang tadi, misalnya dalam parlemen, ya, di dalam kita mekan analogi anggota DPR itu dilihat saat mereka face to face debat dan sebagainya itu oh unsur mikro konteks mikro. Nah tapi juga bisa dilihat makro levelnya juga in social situation and structure di sini saat as parlemen dan as institution dilihat parlemen itu sebagai institusi seperti apa misalnya DPR kita sebutnya it is in English reference for example they have the parliament uh, or even democracy as system yang lebih luas lagi ya. Nah ini akan sangat banyak dibahas dan itu merupakan satu kesatuan. Nah, in, uh, for fun that we cannot take a part with social power and abuse. <laughs> the nature of social power and abuse, in particular, the way of Dominance, yeah, is expressed or enacted in text and talk. Nanti akan kelihatan 
diekspresikan di mana dalam teks dalam diskurs ya dalam talk to Pandai point out that discursively implemented dominance involves preferential access to text and context taken as a basis or resource power comparable to such social resource as wealth income a good job position status knowledge and education ini optional oh, discourse-nya ya akses ke situ that's the privilege for those elite those dominance ya preference access to text and the context Yeah. Uh, can imply that so, so, uh, if dominance or power abuse further yeah, implies that such controls yeah, is in the interest of dominant group, uh, this means that dominant social group, yeah, mem social group members, may also exercise such controls over tax on top to in fundex cda uh, it's try to define and deals with this basic concept nanti maka untuk itu kita bisa melihat three dimension yeah, of discourse from John uh, van Diga into one unity of analysis. Disingkat ini dalam sebuah bagan, yeah, taken from Arianto to yeah. Arianto is one of the city expert from uh, our country, from Indonesia. Yeah. Social cognition, social context, yeah. social context, social cognition, and tax analysis. So we see from smaller, bigger, and bigger. We can see from bigger, then into the smaller, the big one, yeah, into the smaller one, into the smaller one, as unity of analysis. Nah, so, yeah, three dimension of uh, tax analysis. Yeah, if we see those. Uh, samples of <coughs> we can see apa itu konteks ya nah, dulu pernah nah kita singgung ya dalam uh, materi atau videos lainnya ya you need to see this one jadi kalau dalam bahasa Inggris ini ada kita lihat sebagai teks kognisi sosial dan konteks sosial nah, dalam satu kesatuan uh, analisis in this level ya yeah, it will be analyzed on how text structure and discourse strategy is used to strengthen to show uh, to give us us Uh, a theme, a certain theme. Nah, di tingkatan tingkatan tiga ini ya, nah, kita lihat satu-satu. The structure of text ya, Pak Fande. You can have macro structure, super structure, micro structure. What is macro structure? The global meaning of text. It can be observed through its topic of fit. That's macro structure, nah, seperti itu ya. Member about it. Then, how is superstructure? Tax framework such as introduction, content, closing, and conclusion. Oh, structure text. Yeah. Jadi, you can analyze from the superstructure. Then, you can analyze to the macro structure, yeah. the local meaning of text be observed from each choice of word, sentence, and style. Kita rangkumkan dalam uh, ini. Uh, sorry, ini bukan hanya mikro ya, ini semuanya. Uh, 
nanti yang mikro yang slide berikutnya ya this one discourse structure we have macro structure itu ini bisa membantu teman-teman saat besok menganalisisnya if you want to analyze we have the summary oh we need to see the thematic what is thematic theme or topic that is developed in a text elemennya adalah topik analisis topiknya Nah, that's macro structure. Then super structure. Oh, the schematic. How the structure of tax schemes. Ya, yeah, same. Micro structure ada dari semantics. Ya, yeah. meaning intended in the text such as giving details or explicit in the side and reducing another side. Misalnya, di pilih itu untuk mengurangi pemaknaan yang lain untuk menambahkan pemaknaan tertentu. It can be can be from background the elements ya details intention presupposition oh syntax form of sentence choosen oh i will use passive to highlight the victim of or oh, i wanna say this is active sentence ya the voice forward ya form of sentence choosen coherency pronoun itu mengapa Then next is lexicon ya di antara macro structure. Word choice used in the text. Kenapa milih kata-kata ini? Kenapa tidak kata-kata? Nah, that's lexicon. Then stylistic rhetoric. How meaning is intended in the text? Ya, yeah. we can see the elements of a stylistic or rhetoric figure, graphic, metaphor, ya. Yeah. And extra, so that's interesting, yeah, for us to see this uh, scope of uh, funda, yeah, from macro, super, and micro. Yeah, if we have those uh, discourse, yeah, by seeing the topic without analyzing a word sentence. Provision and paraphrase. Oh, sebelum menganalisis ke itu kata-kata kalimat sebelum jauh itu. Jadi harus melihat topiknya dulu secara umum itu apa. Ya, topik tes macro structure. Nah, kalau for example, ya, oh this topic as interesting as possible ya to ease the readers in reading. Misalnya, from from this topic. The reader, ya, yeah, from the point of view of the reader, ya, yeah, can know the problem of the actions that is taken by the communicator in the overcoming problem. Ya, misalnya, ya, kita akan fokus ke secara umum. What is it? Apa topiknya yang akan yang what is it? The thematic as the object of this element. Nah, kemudian yang uh, super structure itu the sketch uh, sketch of the discourse kan tadi in order how the structure and elements are arranged on the text entirely ya setelah topiknya secara umum susunannya apa ya the schematic becomes the most important element and included into superstructure ya nah, schematic karena uh, di dalam uh, elemen superstructure ini Uh, because it can describe a general form of text arranged by a general category. That is yeah, introduction, content, problem, uh, limitation. Yeah, karena akan bisa melihat how argument, how an argument is arranged. Yeah, kalau kita bicara tentang mikro, ya yeah, can be observed by analyzing a word, a sentence. Kalau makro tadi without it. Kalau itu harus with a word, a sentence, proposition, and paraphrase which are used. Ya. Tadi itu semantik, sintax, stylish, rhetoric. Nah, rhetoric misalnya ya. How and what this way, the way the pressure is done. Misalnya ada tekanan di situ ya. Misalnya, uh, in, in the as, micro, macro, super ya. The discourse element, yeah, we can see from uh, many ways, yeah. Nah, sini kita concern 
ke mikronya ya semantik ada backgroundnya detailnya sentence coherence ya vocabulary graphic metaphor expression nah, ini ini tuh concern kalau dalam as word sentence tadi ya, kita harus konsentrasi concern to micro <tuh> uh, syntax ya is how talk about discourse ya sentence class of phrase the setting details it is classified microstructure nah, misalnya kita ambil salah satu tadi ya stylistic uh, can be as rhetoric ya rhetoric uh, is talking and for some writing ya by using an artificial or hyperbolic word misalnya. Ya, basically if we talk about rhetoric ya, statistic almost similar ya. Both of them talk about style. Kalau, kalau stylistic is the style the way which is used by communicator or writer ya in stating the aims by using language as a facilitation ya. That's the stylistic Kalau rhetoric, because it is classified to my micros structure, ya. Yeah, uh, while rhetoric is more focusing on uh, using the style for emphasizing a certain part in delivering speech. Ya, yeah. misalnya dalam rhetoric and stylistic. Okay. Uh, misalnya ya, rhetoric itu seperti apa? Misalnya, uh, we can have hyperbole tadi ya. Misalnya hyperbole. Uh, a thousand of love. Oh, tujuannya dia menyangatkan, ya kan? Ketahuan dari hyperbole yang tadi. A thousand of love. A uh, shack of love. Atau repetition, selanjutnya. Oh, dalam <coughs> in this discourse, whether this is text or spoken, ya, writing, ya, oh, there's a person demands to seek recover what or he or she has uh, said, ya. Misalnya, misalnya, we must fight. Yes, I repeat it. We must fight feel to arms and to the gut yeah, of the host is all and that is is left us that's fine nah, misalnya itu mau persiapan perang uh, sesuatu yang diulang ulang repetition atau irony maybe ya yeah. irony can be yours that we make it into sarcastic Uh, dalam sebuah pidatonya siapa ada ya? thick walls of ignorance ya, pernah ada yang thick thick is not thin ya thick wall of ignorance karena dia ingin um, figuring ya uh, have a purple kalau barang seperti thick wall of ignorance iya yeah. karena in framing bahwa the effective side in the society is quite big right now ya yeah, karena sudah bukan thin wall tapi thick wall of ignorance ignorance-nya sudah dalam level ini nanti you want to have a framing from that. nah itu harus ya from one side ya yeah, from rhetoric style from hyperbole. But later on we must make it into one with the other context ya. Karena tadi it's not just about text but it is about social cognition and social context. Nah. Okay, you can uh, practice to analyze it later on ya, if you have chance. But you need to have a receptive skill first by reading. Nah, ini beberapa ya can have this Uh, story uh, 
from the Atlantis journals, yeah, from the research kit and next time. This is samples, yeah. Have a good day ahead to read, yeah, this sample. So you can have kind of uh, analysis in, in your mind later. Oh, the discourse can be analyzed through John van Dyke models like this. We all did this micro sample, superstructure and extra. Yeah, happy learning, yeah, because. Uh, we talk about uh, this Van Dyke models. Yeah, uh, if we talk about Van Dyke model, we cannot take it apart from uh, power. Yeah, hegemony, then uh, social uh, power and abuse, and extra because it. Uh, the critical analysis of text yeah, and talks yeah, because this is discourse. Mm -hmm. Those uh, study, the study of critic of social inequality yeah, that lead the role of discourse in the reproduction of uh, dominance yeah, and challenge of dominance. The social power by elites yeah, need to be seen by text and talks through text, social cognition, and social context. Text here we can see from macrostructure, superstructure, and microstructure. Read it again the theory, watch or rewatch the video, and of course, yeah, you need to see the sample of the journals. It is a must, yeah, if you want to sharpen your analysis later on. Okay, happy reading, happy watching, happy learning everyone, yeah. Goodbye, see you.